paths across several times with movies I've made and or directors that I've worked with or effects guys I've worked with. So you did Prison for us. Yes. But was Friday the, the prior to that? No. Prison that was, was first. So let's start with Prison. Okay? okay. So Prison, I think really one of the better Full Moon movies or Empire movies at the time. Um, you know, it was Viggo Mortensen's first film, yeah. Rennie Harlan, uh, director. It was just a really, I think, terrific um, scary little flick. So how did that happen? How did you... Well, I, um, Mac Alberg right. was a DP that I did many films with, and John Beekler, sure. who was doing the makeup effects on, yes. on the film. I got the job as stunt coordinator on prison. Okay. We shot it up in Wyoming. I believe so. An amazing location. Too. Yeah. Oh. Crazy. Crazy. And, and John Beekler, that's how I started getting to know him, said, you know, have you ever done prosthetics or makeup effects. Right. And I said, yeah, nothing big. And he said, there's a character called Forsyth in this film that doesn't have any dialogue, but mm -hmm. I think it's a good idea if it's a stunt person in the character. And I said, sure, I'd love to do it. Right. So I wore the makeup. It was, you know, three and a half hours of application, right. gluing, yeah. dentures, lenses, everything, and, oh, and a complete bodysuit. Right. And I, I think I only worked one or two days. I remember that, yeah. In the I remember seeing chair. photographs. Yeah. I thought, wow, that was, and I mean, that was amazing work. You know, it, today, there's so many shortcuts in CGI and trickery, but boy, that some of that stuff was, I thought, terrific. I, and it was Beekler's design, and, yeah. you know, that was 1987, the following year. Right. He got the job of directing part seven, yeah. Friday the 13th, and immediately said, this is who I want to play Jason. Oh, good for him. And they're like, we never heard of him. Yeah, who is this dude, right? Yeah, because <laughs> right. CJ had done part six right. as Jason, did a good job, very mm -hmm. good job. Mm -hmm. So, but John just would not hear anything else. He kept talking to Paramount. They were saying, now, ah, shouldn't we use somebody bigger? And he's like, just trust me. <laughs> right. You know, a moment on John Beekler, who was a very good friend, the sweetest guy, you know, uh, another good friend who passed away. It's like, oh, my God, you got to start listing. I said, where? What? Anyway, I won't get into Stan Winston, but Stan and I go right. back to the early 70s. He was my makeup effects artist on my first movie called Mansion of the Doom. He created wow. Lance Hendricks and those guys in the basement without the eyes. And Stan and I stayed close till. He passed away, sadly, way too early. But anyway, so Stan got um, uh, super busy, and the last movie he did for me was a show called Parasite, starring a young Demi Moore. But I needed to, uh, I needed another Stan Winston, and I was about to make a movie called Ghoulies, I think in 80, 81. Mm -hmm. And he said, John Beekler, you got this guy's awesome. You know, he'll do a great job. Stan and, Winston said yeah, that? Wow. Yeah, that's how it all began. Wow. So John and I got close. He did Ghoulies. He did other shows for me. Eventually, he directed a movie, Troll, when I went to Italy, and I, mm -hmm. that's a whole other chapter. <laughs> but um, so, okay, so you guys are in Wyoming <laughs> making, uh, and that's how you came into the fold. That's how we started in a way. Even though I was not out there, I'll admit I was in Italy. I don't know where I was. It was like an insane period where I was traveling a lot. But I thought the, that effect was amazing. Yeah. It was an amazing effect. And then in prison, then boom, now you're, you're Jason. Yep, <laughs> after much wrangling and... Uh, insisting on Beekler's part, they finally agreed I would be the stunt coordinator of the movie and play Jason. Wow. And which is really ideal because almost every stunt in the movie is either happening to Jason or right. Jason makes it happen to yeah, someone else. So it. it's good to have the stunt coordinator that right, involved. Right. And, you know, I just couldn't believe how much I enjoyed. And, you know, I've, I've said this at panels, at conventions and stuff that, and, and I, I'm always expecting people to go, oh my God, roll their eyes. I feel like I was born to play that character. I, I know. People shouldn't, sounds, first of all, how many times have you played the character? This four. Four. So I'll admit, just because I'm in my own bubble and, and sometimes my days are insane and there's very little time left to do much, but good night and go to sleep or have a bite to eat. So the last um, Friday the 13th I saw was seven. Oh. So I've not seen anything past then. But you've played the most times, Jason, if that's how you say it, right? I think you've played it four times. By far, time. yeah. By far. Right, I did right, right. four times. Every other 
movie that right. I didn't do was a different guy each time. I see. Oh, so wow. they've all done one. I so you're the four. most Jason. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a, the right way to say it. And plus you're a grammar freak, so I'm sure I, I butchered <laughs> that. You're the most Jason. So that is a great story and that you work with John. And that was New Line Cinema, I think, right? Uh, Paramount. Well, Paramount. That was Paramount. Paramount then. Making New Line. Right. Well, New Line. It became New Line. Later. Right. Later. Later, they but, picked up the franchise. That's what happened. But it was Paramount for Part Seven and Part Eight, which was Jason Takes right. Manhattan. Right. So then, before we got to get to your other sort of iconic character, what other stuff did you do in between Friday the Thirteenth and uh, Hatchet? Oh God, all kinds of different. Well, pluck out a few that are fun to talk about. Like you know, you, you brought up Lance Henriksen. Yes. I did uh, a movie called The Horror Show okay. with Lance and Brian James. Okay, that rings a bell. Yeah. I I always thought it was amazing that Lance would tell a story to like panels and right. stuff or interviews. Yeah. He said, "They said you worked with Kane," and he said, "Yeah, wow." He, and he'd go off on this story that he said, I did a a scene with Kane in the horror show. Mm. And the entire shot that we did, Kane was looking me right in the eyes. Mm. And then he leaves it at that. And people are like, isn't that what you do when you're right. acting? You look at your <laughs> other performer in the eyes? Right. He says, yes, but the difference was <laughs> that Kane was on fire at the time, <laughs> which I was. Oh, I was that's doubling. awesome. Brian Damn, James. Damn, you and fire, man. <laughs> Jeez, no. you would think. So, so yes. I'm on fire, and I'm mimicking what Brian James did. I'm looking at him and I pointing see. at him and threatening. Oh, wow. And he goes, he's on fucking fire. Wow. And he's still performing, which I think so is pretty knowing cool. Lance well, uh, Wellish, because mm -hmm. my first official horror movie, he was uh, one of the leads in Mansion of the Doom. And then many years later, we brought him out to a, a castle I owned for a while in Italy, and he shot Pit and the Pendulum with Stuart Gordon directed. Oh, wow, yeah. And that was a great experience. Oliver Reed was a co-star, and that's all. I mean, we could talk 20 minutes now about Oliver Reed, but oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> crazy stuff. But, you know, Lance is, I don't want to say he's method, but he's really into the character. I mean, he, he, he walked around for that time he, we were in Italy as Torquemada. I mean, he was in that, oh. in that mindset, which was kind of scary and kind of fun in a way. But I can see him um, appreciating those eyes you gave him as you were on fire. Right. I, I know Lance enough to know that probably really, that's why he's obviously talking about it. Yeah, it was such a pleasure working with him and Brian. Yeah. I, you know, it's too bad Brian's not around anymore. What's up with these people going away? I, 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 I like, geez Louise. And, I know. Anyway, that's, a, that's yet another podcast. <laughs>